Yeah, thanks for giving such a great talk. Um, I just wanted to ask you guys what likelihood, what probability you would associate closer to you. What uh, probability you would associate to super particles being found in this new glider, the LHC that's coming online in two years? Uh, so you're asking me. Just in, in your opinion, like five percent, eighty percent. What what probability do you think it is? I once went to a talk where I think it was Joe Licken from Fermi Labs uh, who said something like he ranked. He was like, if a 10 is ontological certainty, like we know this is going to happen, and then like a, a 9 is we're going to find the Higgs, which for, um, for we, we didn't mention that, but this is the, that's the 60 second particle that we haven't found yet that's a part of the standard model. Um, Sorry, then he said, then he said supersymmetry was kind of like an 8, like right behind that. Of course, it wasn't clear to me whether he meant um, that we would actually find it at LHC, the accelerator that's opening in Geneva, or if we might ever find supersymmetry, because it's not clear what energy we'll find it at. But um, I don't know if you want... <laughs> I don't, personally, I don't want to commit to a, a probability, but it, it really depends on the version of string theory and the version of... Uh, I, I'm not going to comment on that. <laughs> Sorry. Um, one thing that I do want to say about it, I, I think there's a pretty big probability, but if, uh, on a, yeah, like an 8 out of 10, 80 percent. Would you like to bet five bucks on that? <laughs> Is, well, it, it, it all depends on whether you mean found, like, within a few years at the Large Hadron Collider that's opening up or found ever. So which one are you saying is like 80%? I specifically asked about LHC. Okay. Well, for me, I would say more like 50%, but... Damn it, now I, could, now I, now I threw out a number and I refused to. 50% is a good bet. Yeah, I don't know. Five bucks. Or, or we can bet some Burning Man item on it. Uh, I'll bet you beer or something. Yeah. All right, it's a margarita for me. How about that? Margarita, yes. All right, good. We'll go with that. But what would be really cool? It would be a huge triumph for theoretical physics, physics if it is found, because it is very. It's a you know very strong prediction of something that should occur, and if it does, it's a very beautiful theory. It's elegant, I guess you, know, you call it. Um, and if we do find it, it would be. Um, Basically, we would have predicted it just from physics and math and stuff like that, and then actually seen it after the fact. Jeff, you also ain't on betting a margarita against me? Sure, why not? Just All for right. fun. <laughs> Garrett here Thanks, is guys. also a physicist. He's working on alternative um, alternatives to string theory. So, how many physicists to take to screw in a light bulb? 